From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Minerals and Cement Industry Equipment and Services Supplier, FL Smith, has officially launched its modular reflux classifier plot, which is suitable for fine gravity separation applications. Mia Breitenbach has a story. The modular reflux classifier plant is an integrated, engineered solution and is based on a fundamental component, FL Schmidt's well-proven reflux classifier technology. This technology improves the performance of gravity separation circuits compared with existing technologies such as spirals and hydrosizers. FL Schmidt Country Head and Mineral Sub-Saharan Africa VP Dion de Kock tells us more. The reflux classifier technology was invented by Professor Galvin of the University of Newcastle in um, Australia and FL Schmidt joined hands with them to commercialise the technology. Uh, subsequently we've also uh, patented many of the designs that went with it and um, the reflux classifier technology is really about fines beneficiation. Um, wherever you have chrome or uh, wherever you have platinum, uh, manganese, iron ore and coal, uh, this um, reflux classifier technology is used for the fines beneficiation. It's based on dense media separation, uh, it's combined with a lamella plate uh, design which is unique to the reflux classifier and therefore it enables you to really recover the valuable, valuable material uh, that you have in your uh, processing plant. The reflux classifier comprises the lamella settler, the autogenous dense medium separator and the fluidized bed separator. Plant components include tanks, cyclones, F.L. Schmidt Krebs pumps, Krebs Tech Taylor valves, Technigate valves, the F.L. Schmidt Ludovici vibrating screen, the reflux classifier, dewatering equipment, as well as the mesh cape screen media that comprises the polyurethane screen panels. The plant is also fitted with a lightning protection system for optimum safety. The Eiffel Schmidt equipment technologies also interface optimally with the reflux classifier. This ensures that the feed material is correctly prepared prior to its reporting to the reflux classifier so that it operates to specification. As the plant uses technologies from one supplier, customers could leverage this single point of contact from an on-site support perspective. De Kock further explains the advantages of equipment integration. We've also made sure that it's surrounded by the right process flow, the process um, uh, design and the engineering is all FL Smith where we make sure that that reflux uh, classifier is surrounded by our equipment. It enables us to do the full operating and maintenance of the plant and allows us to guarantee the process. In many applications where we've seen just the reflux classifier sold um, because of the fact that it's not in the right process uh, diagram, the process flow is not optimized and the ancillary equipment is not the right equipment, the technology doesn't perform. But in this setup, the configuration, the flow sheet and the design is all FL Smith, which means that we can put this technology down either in, in a coal application where you treat the dumps or the tailings for the fines beneficiation. And the, uh, this two plants at the back is specifically designed for the minerals industry where we would take a spiral tail and we will put this modular plant down to treat the spiral tail which typically goes to waste at the moment. Key to the plant is the ability to provide output increases as this modular plant will enable some operations to more than double their current output. De Kock explains. We can get additional yields there of anything from 15 to 22 percent of additional yield on the spiral tail that currently goes to waste. To give you an idea, on a 100 ton per hour plant like this it would mean that typically per month we can get between 10 and 13,000 ton of chrome concentrate produced which now goes to waste. You can also use this um, reflux classifier modular plant an interstage application in the UG2 chrome uh, environment or you can use it purely for chrome production at chrome mines. Um, this plant for instance can be put not only to treat the spiral tails but it can also be put onto a plant to bypass the spirals plant completely and produce whatever the spirals plant is producing at the moment and typically an additional exact amount of 10% additional yield. The modular solution is targeted at various applications. These include chromite, chromite from UG2 platinum group metal circuit applications, iron ore, metallurgical and thermal coal, mineral sands, spodumene, cassiterite and other heavy mineral applications. Core to the modular plant is its ability to provide flexibility. Each section of the plant is contained within the dimensions of a 20-foot shipping container. 
The combination of these sections allows for the plant to be configured according to various and specific process requirements. The configuration is easily adjustable to accommodate the changing process or all conditions within given parameters. The dimensions of the unit and modularity of the plant also allow for easy relocations where needed. Rapid on-site installation is possible as the frames of each modular section are easily assembled and locked together. The speed of installation depends on the amount of existing infrastructure provided by a customer. Minimal capital outlay is required from customers, but they are required to provide power access, process water feed and feed material. To provide customers easy access to the solution and to enhance productivity partnerships with the mining industry, Eiffel Schmidt will offer the plant on several outcomes-based financial models. This will be the first time that the company will launch the plants with the technology on such models worldwide. To get this technology uh, onto the mines and to be able to illustrate the value, we're going to have to um, put our money where our mouth is and to say that we will um, look at the full outcomes-based model where we will build the plant, we will own the plant, we will operate the plant and we will then transfer it in about three years time to the customer. So a full boot model where FL Smith have done all the design, all, all the engineering, We've built the plants and we will operate and maintain it for a period of typically three years where after ownership will transfer to the customer. But in that period, we will work on a full outcomes based model where we get paid per ton of chrome concentrate produced or per ton of coking coal produced or per ton of iron ore produced. And to us, that's the level of commitment that customers expect today. It's not, not all about production today. It's more about efficiency and productivity. And FL Smith vision is to enhance um, the customer's productivity and a sustainable model and to drive success through um, enhancing that productivity and with this modular plant we can really live our vision by delivering that extra value in the form of a product that means cash in, 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 in the pocket of the customer. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.